My name is Brad Hurtado, and this is my Brooklyn warm-up story. I've lived here in New York City for over 25 years. For the first 18 years, I lived in a 30-story apartment building with a doorman who would announce guests and a maintenance staff that did chores like take out the garbage, keep the sidewalks clean, and in the winter, shovel the snow. It was a terrific perk of living in a really nice building. A few years ago, my family and I sold that apartment and we bought this 1880s townhouse here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And overnight, we had to become a different kind of a homeowner. Now it's up to us to take out the garbage, sweep the sidewalk, and plant the flowers along the street. And we love it. But every winter when it snows, I gotta admit, we really miss that maintenance staff shoveling the sidewalk. Thankfully, I've got a teenager in the house for another couple years anyway. A week ago, our quiet neighborhood suddenly became a construction zone. Brooklyn's Public Works Department began digging up the sidewalks throughout our neighborhood to replace the old gas lines. Suddenly, we realized we had a rare opportunity. Since the city was redoing the concrete sidewalks on our entire block, we realized this was the perfect opportunity for us to put a concrete warming system in front of our house. Ripping out old sidewalk and pouring new concrete can be an enormous expense. So by doing this project when the city's paying for it, made the entire project much more affordable. My main concern was that I didn't know when the city was gonna be pouring the concrete. And since it wasn't on my schedule, how much time I'd have to put the mats in. I went online to research which product was right for us, and I found that there were two main types of sidewalk and driveway heating, electric mats or heated liquid in tubes. I decided on electric mats because they're much easier to design, less expensive to purchase, and most important for us, way easier to install. I chose the warm-up snow melting system because I really liked how easy it was to figure out a design for our sidewalk and that we could have their product within days. And I especially like that the company has their own research and development team at their offices in Germany. And it didn't hurt that the warm-up quote was the lowest price of any that we received. Here's how we started. First, I measured the sidewalk in front of our house to determine where we wanted the snow melting to happen, and I drew a diagram of it. Then on the warmup.com website, I uploaded my diagram, and within 24 hours, one of their technicians had designed a system for us. They gave us a list of warm-up items we'd need for the project, and a total cost for the entire job. They even suggested ways for us to reduce our cost and increase the snow melting area by simply changing from their three foot wide mat to their two foot wide ones. And I like that. Three days later, our shipment of warm up snow melting mats arrived. The only other item I needed to purchase was a roll of rebar to zip tie the warm-up mat to so that it would stay in position when the concrete was poured over it. Then I just had to wait around for the city's workers to arrive one day. This morning I woke to the sound of jackhammers tearing up the sidewalk on my street and the race to put in the warm-up begins. I don't know how I slept through it, but by 8.30, the workers have already ripped up the entire sidewalk and are up to the house right next to mine. How much time do I have until I get my sidewalk done? Yeah. We got two hours. I gotta get my electrician here, and he's gotta come now. I get his voicemail, leave him a message, and text him. But I know I can't wait. So I go online and I start calling Brooklyn electricians. I'd like to speak to somebody about it. After 15 calls, I strike gold. He's available, only two miles away, and he'll head over now. Okay, I've got some work to do. 
Out front, I first put the rebar in place, and then start rolling out the warm-up mats. I need to make sure they're in the exact position as on the diagram. Then I start zip-tying them down so that they won't move when the concrete starts pouring. It takes me about 20 minutes to lay out and tie down one mat, and I've got three of them. So within an hour, I'm just about ready for my electrician. When he arrives, he quickly connects the three mats to one junction box and then runs one line through a conduit up to the house where the sensor will be. Then, just as he's finishing, the workers begin pouring the concrete over our warm-up mat. We just made it. Just under four hours, these workers have ripped up hundreds of feet of sidewalk along our entire block and are just about finished pouring the new cement. By noon, my sidewalk looks just like any other sidewalk on the block, except ours has a hidden feature just a few inches below the surface that will reveal itself in a few months when that first Brooklyn snowstorm comes roaring into town. <laughs>